you know, it's kind of interesting to listen to you talk because you just told me you don't care about anything except what you want. The problem I have is that Jesus is clearly not in that attitude. And if you claim to be Christian, then you shouldn't want to harm anyone with your situation. And if he came along just after you were supposed to do something to create some closure for someone, then my guess is he's a profiler who decided to play with you on behalf of police. You see, what I've learned from you in the situation is that police officers confiscated that man's entire property bags, in which there was probably a photograph album in which he had photographs of you and your children that you allowed him to photograph and take for you. They were probably amongst the best photos you've ever had of your family, I'm guessing, because the kids were in a lot of joy, and it was a real blessing for you. But here's the truth. You went several times to try to play with that man because heaven is hell-bent on the two of you being together, but you just decided to say, fuck you, God, I'm not going to do this today. I'm just tired, and I think I did my best, and when I listen to you, miss, I don't hear that. What I see is a little girl who's trying to play against God. What I feel is that you're doing something that is rather odd. But what I also gather is what happens in couples when they are not carefully selected by the Lord's house. That they eventually fall apart because, no offense, but your husband today is a total louse. Because if he understood how passionately that man loves you, he might not have been anywhere interested in pursuing you. Because an honorable man doesn't try to steal from the house of God. And what you've decided to do is say, Fuck you, God. I don't need you to choose my mate today after I lost my way in the other situation I once had. And I don't have to care about how long it took for my divorce to go through and how long this guy waited patiently for that to be through. And I don't have to tolerate the fact that he really was my friend the whole time until the very end when I was somewhat rude to him and started to accuse him of things that he didn't do. But openly I've now talked to his siblings, which, have you gotten what I'm saying to you? That you are so full of so many excuses of why you can't do what's right by that young man, that he's being hurt every night by someone who just thinks they're in charge of him, like that young man who's basically as old as you at 52, is a slave to their gang. And I feel, when I look at you, what a shame. Because in another couple of years, you're going to just, just simply tire out of this big bad stud Ken doll you've collected. And openly you did that once before with your previous husband, and look how it ended. But the bottom line is, that divorce of yours, why did it take so fucking long on paper? And let me ask you this straight blank. Why is it that gentleman's birth date, the guy who's been in love with you for ten years, why is it his birth date on the end of your paperwork? 